There's an issue that's been around for a long time that we're going to bring out to the public light, and that issue is stalking. It's an issue that we don't talk about enough, but it, one, it is one that impacts people of all ages and all backgrounds. Seven and a half million people are victims of stalking every year in the United States. A majority of these victims are stalked by someone that they actually know. And about half of all the victims of stalking indicated that they were stalked before the age of 25, with 14% of female victims and 16% of male victims experiencing stalking between the early ages of 11 and 17. Data also shows that many victims of murders or domestic violence were also victims of previous stalking. These figures are tremendously eye-opening and I'm proud of what we have done to address this issue of stalking right here in North Carolina. In fact, last year, working with Secretary Perry, we expanded the cyber stalking statute to include using a GPS device to track or determine the position or movement of another person. It's using new technology to help us with a, uh, an old problem. We have also fought for and secured $1.6 million in the budget for what we call HERO grants to promote hiring veterans to utilize technology and data analysis to locate and rescue children at risk of exploitation, another serious issue too often connected with stalking. While we have made great progress, we know that we need to continue working together in our communities and on the state level to raise awareness and combat this serious crime. And I'm sure law enforcement can tell us also that methods used by stalkers are constantly changing with new technology and using new technology to help stalk people also. And so we need to be innovative to keep pace with technology that is often used against both young men and women and boys and girls. And that's why I'm proud here to sign today a proclamation de declaring January as Stalking Awareness Month in North Carolina. We are proud to be part of a national effort to raise awareness of this issue. By doing so, we hope to prevent crimes from happening rather than respond to them. Make people aware of this so they'll have the courage to let law enforcement and their parents and friends know that they're being stalked that they're not the only ones and they're in this with other people who want to help them. Finally, this day would not be possible without the advocacy of several individuals. But there's one in individual that I'd like to, to recognize and that's Nora Sandu. Nora, it's been great getting to know you. She is an advocate because she has personally had this issue impact her. And it takes the courage of a young person to step up and talk to her, not only her peers, but her mom and even her grandmother to say, this is possibly happening. How can we make sure this doesn't happen to other individuals? So today we'd like to recognize and thank everyone on the front lines who are addressing this crime and raising awareness. And also remember all the victims of stalking, as well as domestic violence, which is a very serious issue, and other types of related crime. Together, we can make a difference by first letting people know that this is a serious issue, that they're not alone, and that there is help for them. And that's what we're doing today. So on behalf of the state of North Carolina, it's my honor to uh, sign an official proclamation of Stalking Awareness Month.